In the turbulent landscape of 19th century America, where pioneers, miners, and the US Army relentlessly pushed westward, the remarkable story of Buffalo Calf Road emerges as a testament to courage, resilience, and the enduring spirit of Native American peoples. Born into the Northern Cheyenne tribe in the early 1850s, Buffalo Calf Road came of age during a time when the Cheyenne and other native tribes faced the relentless encroachment of settlers on their ancestral lands. Her life, marked by defiance in the face of adversity, prompts us to ponder what drove this young Cheyenne woman to rise as one of the most feared warriors of her time? How did she become the only woman to fight in the Battle of Little Bighorn? What compelled her to endure a grueling journey of over 1,500 miles on foot, pursued relentlessly by the U.S. Army? Let's take it back in time to the early 1850s, a time when the Cheyenne people still roamed freely across the vast plains of North America. Buffalo Calf Road, a name that would echo through history, was born into the Northern Cheyenne tribe. Little is known about her early life, but as she came of age in the Cheyenne culture, she would prove to be a force to be reckoned with, ultimately earning her place as one of the most formidable and revered Cheyenne warriors. The turning point in Buffalo Calf Road's life came in 1876, as the Cheyenne found themselves caught in the maelstrom of westward expansion. The Battle of the Rosebud, a prelude to the infamous Battle of Little Bighorn, marked her dramatic entry into the historical stage. General George Crook and his soldiers were advancing toward the Cheyenne village, and the warriors prepared to defend their people. In a society where female warriors were not common, Buffalo Calf Road made a remarkable decision Despite some opposition to a woman joining the ranks of the warriors, she mounted her horse and rode out to meet the impending threat. Her actions that day defied societal norms and set her apart as a fearless and determined individual. As the Battle of the Rosebud raged on, Buffalo Calf Road fought valiantly alongside her fellow Cheyenne warriors. However, it was a moment of extraordinary heroism that would forever etch her name in the annals of Cheyenne history. Amidst the chaos of battle, she spotted her brother, comes in sight, trapped in a gully and surrounded by enemy soldiers. Without hesitation, Buffalo Calf Road charged down into the gully, bullets flying around her, and executed a daring rescue. She pulled her brother onto her horse and ferried him to safety a feat that left witnesses in awe. Her bravery, in the face of overwhelming odds, not only saved her brother, but also inspired those who had initially hesitated. The battle would come to be known as the battle where the girl saved her brother, and Buffalo Calf Road earned the title of Brave Woman. The Battle of Little Bighorn, one of the most famous clashes in American history, unfolded in June 1876 and marked a critical moment in the westward expansion of the United States. At the heart of this historic battle was Buffalo Calf Road, a young Cheyenne warrior woman who had already distinguished herself at the Battle of the Rosebud just days earlier. Despite the inherent dangers and uncertainties of battle, Buffalo Calf Road exhibited unwavering determination and fierce loyalty to her people. Once again, she mounted her horse and rode into the fray alongside her fellow Cheyenne warriors. This battle would cement her status as a legendary warrior as she became the only woman to participate in the Battle of Little Bighorn. Buffalo Calf Road's presence at the Battle of Little Bighorn was extraordinary, given the predominantly male composition of Native American war parties during that era. Her decision to join the battle defied gender norms and underscored her deep commitment to her people's cause. On that fateful day, Buffalo Calf Road fought with remarkable valor, serving as a symbol of strength and courage for her fellow warriors. Her participation was not a mere novelty, it was a testament to her unyielding spirit and her determination to protect her people and their way of life. Amidst the chaos and intensity of the Battle of Little Bighorn, Buffalo Calf Road's valor shone brightly once again. In the heat of battle, she demonstrated extraordinary heroism 
when she came to the aid of a young Cheyenne warrior who had lost his horse, leaving him vulnerable to enemy fire. Buffalo Calf Road's swift and daring action during this critical moment cannot be overstated. She fearlessly rode into the midst of the battle, amidst flying bullets and the cacophony of war, and executed a dramatic rescue that saved the young warrior's life. Her selfless act epitomized the spirit of camaraderie and sacrifice that defined the Cheyenne warriors and their unwavering commitment to each other. The Battle of Little Bighorn ended with a stunning victory for the Native American forces, but it came at a high cost. Buffalo Calf Road's bravery and heroism during this battle further solidified her status as a legendary Cheyenne warrior. In the years following the Battle of Little Bighorn, the Cheyenne people found themselves in a relentless struggle against the encroaching forces of westward expansion, punctuated by one tragic event after another. One of the most harrowing episodes occurred when their village was brutally attacked in the early morning hours. The attack, which took place in the late 1870s, was characterized by its sheer brutality. Soldiers descended upon the Cheyenne village with overwhelming force, leaving destruction and devastation in their wake. More than 40 Cheyenne individuals lay dead in the aftermath, and many others were wounded. The village itself was reduced to ashes, erasing generations of Cheyenne history and culture. Buffalo Calf Road, like her fellow Cheyenne, was forced to confront the unimaginable hardships that followed the attack on their village. Driven from their ancestral lands, the Cheyenne were left without blankets, adequate clothing, or food as they embarked on a treacherous journey. Despite the dire circumstances, Buffalo Calf Road exemplified unwavering determination and resilience. She refused to surrender to the oppressive forces that sought to subdue her people. While many Cheyenne eventually surrendered, Buffalo Calf Road, who was pregnant at the time, held out with a small group of approximately 30 Cheyenne who were considered hostile by the US government. Her decision to resist, even in the face of extreme hardship, was emblematic of her commitment to her people's survival and the preservation of their way of life. Buffalo Calf Road's indomitable spirit inspired those around her and continued to make her a symbol of courage and defiance. Amidst the tumultuous and perilous journey, Buffalo Calf Road faced the added challenge of giving birth to her second child. The conditions in which she found herself were far from ideal, with inadequate shelter, scarce food, and the constant threat of pursuit by the US Army. The birth of her child during this tumultuous period highlighted Buffalo Calf Road's extraordinary strength and maternal devotion. She had to navigate the harsh realities of childbirth without the comforts and safety of her village. The challenges she faced were not only physical, but also emotional, as she grappled with the uncertainties of her people's future. Despite these formidable obstacles, Buffalo Calf Road's determination to protect her family and her people never wavered. Her actions during this period showcased her underlying spirit and her enduring commitment to the Cheyenne's struggle for survival and self-determination. As the Cheyenne people faced relentless pressure from the US Army and endured the tragic consequence of the attack on their village, Buffalo Calf Road and a small group of approximately 30 Cheyenne, considered hostiles by the US government, made a daring decision to escape and embark on a treacherous journey back to their ancestral lands. The escape was carried out under the cover of night, a perilous endeavor that required stealth and determination. These individuals were determined to regain their freedom and to return to their homeland despite the daunting odds stacked against them. The journey that Buffalo Calf Road and her small band of Cheyenne undertook was nothing short of a grueling odyssey. With the US Army in relentless pursuit, they had no choice but to travel on foot navigating the unforgiving terrain of the Great Plains and enduring harsh weather conditions. Covering a distance of over 1,500 miles, the journey tested their physical endurance and mental fortitude to the limits. They faced countless challenges, including scarcity of food and water, exposure to the elements, and the constant threat of encounters with hostile forces. Despite these immense hardships, 
Buffalo Calf Road and her companions pressed onward, driven by an unwavering determination to reach their homeland and live free from the constraints imposed upon them. The U.S. Army's relentless pursuit of Buffalo Calf Road and her group cast a constant shadow over their arduous journey. At every turn, they were at risk of being discovered, and encounters with the military were frequent and perilous. These encounters often escalated into battles, as Buffalo Calf Road and her companions were determined to defend themselves and their quest for freedom. The Cheyenne warriors displayed remarkable bravery as they engaged in skirmishes with U.S. soldiers who sought to apprehend them. The battles they faced were not only physical, but also symbolic. Each confrontation represented the clash of two worlds. One, a people fighting for their right to exist on ancestral lands, and the other, a powerful nation determined to assert its dominance. Buffalo Calf Road's unwavering commitment to her people's cause was evident in her readiness to stand and fight despite the overwhelming odds. As Buffalo Calf Road and her small band of Cheyenne continued their arduous journey to escape the relentless pursuit of the U.S. Army, a division emerged within the group. Differences in opinion and strategies for survival led to a heart-wrenching decision to part ways. One faction, led by Chief Dullknife, believed that seeking refuge among the Lakota in Red Cloud's village would provide safety and shelter from the pursuing U.S. forces. Their hope was that their Lakota allies would protect them from the army's grasp. Conversely, Buffalo Calf Road and her followers held a different perspective. They decided not to place their trust entirely in the Lakota and chose to seek sanctuary in the vast and remote sand hills of Nebraska, a place they believed the U.S. Army would find difficult to reach. Chief Dullnife's group, having taken a different path, believed that seeking refuge with the Lakota would offer the best chance of survival. However, their hopes were tragically shattered. The U.S. Army, relentless in its pursuit, managed to capture Dullnife's band, imprisoning them at Fort Robinson. The conditions at Fort Robinson were harsh and inhumane. The incarcerated Cheyenne were subjected to deprivation of food and water, leading to immense suffering. In a desperate bid for freedom, they made a daring escape on a bitterly cold day, only to face a horrific fate. The U.S. soldiers mercilessly opened fire on them, resulting in the massacre of over 65 Cheyenne men, women, and children. The tragedy that befell Dullknife's group stands as a somber reminder of the brutality faced by Native American communities during this period of history, as well as the lengths to which they would go in their quest for freedom and survival. Buffalo Calf Road and those who chose to follow her found a temporary sanctuary amidst the sprawling and desolate sand hills of Nebraska. This remote and unforgiving landscape provided some degree of protection from the relentless pursuit of the U.S. Army. Surviving in the sand hills was a formidable challenge. Food and resources were scarce, and the group had to rely on their resourcefulness and knowledge of the land to eke out an existence. Despite these hardships, they managed to evade capture for a time, living off the land and their collective strength. While their stay in the sandhills offered a respite from immediate danger, the specter of the U.S. Army continued to loom large, and Buffalo Calf Road and her companions knew that their journey was far from over. The split within the group and the contrasting fates of Chief Dullknife's band and Buffalo Calf Road's followers underscored the complex decisions and dire circumstances faced by Native American communities as they sought to evade the relentless encroachment of the U.S. government and secure their freedom and way of life. As Buffalo Calf Road and her small group of Cheyenne continued to evade the relentless pursuit of the U.S. Army, her husband faced a gradual descent into madness. The extreme hardships and constant threat of capture had taken a toil on his mental and emotional well-being. The strain of their precarious existence, coupled with the overwhelming challenges they encountered on their journey, had a profound impact on Buffalo Calf Road's husband. Tragically, this descent into madness culminated in a heated argument that led to a devastating outcome. In a moment of turmoil, he killed a fellow Cheyenne named Black Crane. The consequences of this act were dire, as it further fractured the already vulnerable group and created an environment of mistrust and danger. Buffalo Calf Road and her children were forced to separate from her husband, compounding the difficulties they faced on their journey. Despite their resourcefulness and determination, Buffalo Calf Road and her party could not evade the U.S. Army indefinitely. The relentless pursuit and increasing pressure from U.S. forces 
eventually led to their capture. Once apprehended, Buffalo Calf Road's party was imprisoned at Fort Keogh, a military post that was notorious for its harsh conditions and lack of basic necessities. The transition from a life on the run to captivity marked a bleak and distressing chapter in their journey. The imprisonment of Buffalo Calf Road and her companions symbolized the crushing weight of US government policies that sought to subdue and control Native American communities. Their freedom, hard won through arduous journeys and battles, had been stripped away, leaving them vulnerable to the hardships of captivity. Tragically, Buffalo Calf Road's journey, marked by trials and tribulations, would conclude in a heartbreak. During her captivity at Fort Keogh, she fell victim to a devastating and highly contagious disease, diphtheria. Diphtheria, an illness that had ravaged Native American communities due to their lack of immunity to European diseases, claimed Buffalo Calf Road's life. The disease's symptoms, which included severe respiratory distress and weakness, made her final days incredibly painful. Despite the valiant battle she had fought and the remarkable resilience she had displayed throughout her life, Buffalo Calf Road succumbed to the ravages of diphtheria. Her death marked the end of an era for this courageous Cheyenne warrior and symbolized the broader tragedy of diseases brought by European contact which had decimated Native American populations. Buffalo Calf Road's life and her tragic end serves as a poignant reminder of the profound challenges and injustices faced by Native American communities during a tumultuous period in history. Her legacy lives on as a testament to the strength, resilience, and sacrifice of those who sought to protect their people and way of life in the face of overwhelming adversity. Buffalo Calf Road's remarkable journey through the tumultuous era of westward expansion leaves an indelible mark on the pages of history. Her life, filled with moments of bravery, resilience, and sacrifice, paints a vivid picture of the trials faced by Native American communities during a period of immense upheaval. Throughout her life, Buffalo Calf Road defied gender norms, emerging as a symbol of unwavering determination and courage. From her fearless participation in the Battle of the Rosebud, to her iconic role as the only woman warrior in the Battle of Little Bighorn, she challenged the status quo, proving that strength knows no gender boundaries. Her saga of escape, spanning over 1500 miles on foot, amidst the relentless pursuit by the US Army, underscores the lengths to which she and her companions went to preserve their way of life. They sought refuge in the harsh terrain of the sandhills of Nebraska, where they faced countless hardships, but also found temporary sanctuary. However, Buffalo Calf Road's story is not just one of triumphs and hardships. It is a reflection of the broader narrative of Native American resilience. It speaks to the enduring spirit of a people who, in the face of adversity, clung to their traditions and fought valiantly to protect their lands, culture, and families.